What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we're going to take a look at my new truck, the Red Cat Everest 10. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, I've been looking at it for a while. I really enjoy running the Red Cat Gen 8 V2 that I have. So I wanted to try out another one of their products since I was so happy with the first one. This one looks interesting. Um, I picked it for two reasons. One, it's pretty cheap. It's been out for a couple years. It is a rock crawler, which fits the theme of what I like to run. And two, it reminded me a lot of the Losi Nightcrawler. I kind of want to do a head-to-head -head comparison. They've got very similar characteristics. Um, they have insanely good flex. They have this tall chassis that sits underneath this body. They even mount to the bodies the same way. But underneath, it is a very similar construction to the Losi Nightcrawler. And actually, I have the Losi right here. Let's just whip it around and take a look. So this right here is the Losi Nightcrawler. Looking at them, you can kind of tell they're very similar in their construction. Um, they've got, you know, the electronics, the motor, the receiver, everything mounted right up here in the internal chassis, which has a similar line shape to the frame as well. Um, trailing arm links, four-wheel drive, really good suspension and flex on both of these units. They both have front wheel steer only currently. Um, pretty chunky server servos here. You can tell the Red Cat's a little bit bigger. It's got some bigger, wider tires on it. They're not necessarily as soft. I don't know if these will be as good at crawling. Um, but realistically, these are a pretty apples to apples comparison. They're both 10 scale crawlers. They're both designed a little bit the same. The low seat, I would say, is a little higher quality. It does have oil-filled shocks. I don't believe these are oil-filled. They don't really feel like it. Um, the electronics, the amount of lights, the servo, everything's a little more quality on the Losi. But I'm really excited to dig into this thing, try it out, compare the two, see what you guys think, see what I think, and uh, see if we're excited to add another Red Cat to the fleet. Let's jump right into it. So I kind of already unboxed this thing, as you can tell. Um, I did want to go over a few things. I figured the unboxing part, there's plenty of videos out there if you want to look at that. But uh, there are a few things I wanted to talk about before we run it. So the first thing is, it comes with a 2000 milliamp hour, 7.2 volt uh, nickel metal hydride battery with banana plugs, which is kind of a bummer. It does come with an included charger. You get the remote, which is pretty much identical to the one you get with the Gen 8 V2 that I have. Um, all the controls on there, you can see throttle trim, steering trim, bind, all that jazz. It's the RCR2CE controller. Um, but let's get into the truck. So the body mounts on the sides, through the posts here, stick your pins in, both sides, same thing. That's the exact same way the Losi mounts to its, uh, the chassis to the body. Um, the steering links are metal, which are nice. They're some sort of metal. Uh, they do have plastic caps on the ends of them, but that's okay. The drivetrain itself is plastic with uh, metal gears in the differential. You get the motor back here. You can see the motor has a metal gear here, but it's a plastic spur gear coming off of that pinion. This thing is set up for four wheel steer right out of the box. So completely stock. If you look at the front here, you've got the mounted servo, the uh, steering arms that come off right here. This right here has the spots where you can mount another steering servo and just hook this link up to have steering in the rear as well. So I'm excited to do that. We're definitely gonna do that to this thing. Um, overall, it's got a pretty high center of gravity, but it does have a ton of flex, as you can see. And if you keep the rear tires down, you can almost get this thing, well, you can get this thing at 90 degrees. Um, I can't imagine it will flex like that on its own. That took quite a bit of force to do that, but I do like how much articulation it has. I say we throw a battery in it, we go run it the way it is, and then maybe we'll run the Losi as well and kind of compare the two. Okay, so we got the Red Cat out here, and we set up just a real simple, you know, this is basically all I got right now. We'll do some more testing for sure on some more difficult terrain, but for right now, we got just this little up and over with some obstacles at the top. We've also got the Losi on standby. And we're gonna try both of these. We're driving one-handed. We'll see how they do. Compare the two. Okay, 
not bad, nothing crazy. Let's grab the Losi. All right, next up is the Losi. Now it is probably worth noting that the Red Cat runs on the nickel metal hydride battery. The Losi does run on a 2S LiPo, or at least that's what I'm running on it right now. Both proportional control with steering and throttle. Next, we're gonna check out their uh, steering or turning radius. Now the Red Cat does not have the greatest in the world, so we'll do the Losi first. We're gonna go, we're starting the same spot right at the end of the stick, full lock to the right. And it stops right about there. Now let's grab the Red Cat, set it up and see how it does. Okay, we got the wheels locked in the exact same spot, same spot as the Losi. We're gonna go full lock to the right. So the Losi has a significantly better turning radius. And I had heard that this one wasn't great. I did, however, whoa. <laughs> I did, however, shave off the inside of these knuckles here. It was one thing I saw that everyone was doing, a free modification. There are these little bumps in here that hit this and prevent it from going full lock when steering. I did grind those off. Still doesn't have the best steering in the world, but it's not bad for what you get. Losi wins this one though. Next, we're gonna do a real simple and crude drag race. The Red Cat has just throttle. The Losi has uh, throttle change. You can do 50% power, 75 or 100. So we're gonna go 100, give it its best chance. We're gonna see who's faster. Stop them at the same time. And you can see the Red Cat is a little bit quicker then the Losi, not by much, but a little bit. We're gonna give the Red Cat the advantage in this one. All right, next we're gonna compare the flex on these two because they're so similar. Set up just a real simple stick propped up. We're doing one-handed driving. We'll see which one has the most flex. Okay, so the Red Cat, front axle isn't even touching anymore. It's just basically straight up and down and it hasn't tipped yet. And it doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. So it tipped well after that front axle was straight up in the air. Let's see how the Losi does. Next we have the Losi. Go nice and slow. Okay. So we didn't get the exact same kind of flex out of it. It was still pretty impressive for this little truck, but the Red Cat was able to not only get the front axle straight up and down, but drive slightly under that. So we'll give the Red Cat the win this time. So my goal with this truck was never to actually compare it to the Nightcrawler, but once I got it out of the box and looked at it, they were so similar. I felt like I kind of wanted to, just to see what the biggest differences are. Um, they're vastly different price ranges. The Red Cat Everest is about 150, the Losi Nightcrawler about 300. I don't know if you're getting twice the performance out of the Losi, but you are getting a little more out of it. Um, but yeah, overall, I just wanted another crawler. This one looked cool, it looked fun. I'm excited to have it. So I'm just gonna drive it around, get some footage.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I didn't get very much footage of running these things. I don't have a great place to test this out or really run it. This needs to be out in the rocks, out in the hills and stuff. So I will get footage of that. We'll make a video soon of taking these out to actual places where I can rock crawl and have a good time with them. Um, from the little bit I did see, I am impressed with it. It is a cheaper alternative to the Nightcrawler if you're looking to get something to start out with or something that can definitely be upgraded. Um, this is a great platform to start with. The tires are a little big and a little hard for rock crawling, but I think it fits the look really well. It's fun to drive. I can't wait to get it out there and drive it some more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will see you in the next one.